Good morning, boys and girls. Pastor Jason here. Uh, welcome to Sunday School. We are going to be talking about the Israelites and how they have crossed over the Jordan and now they're getting ready to take on some people that are not their friends. But they don't have to do that alone. A lot of times you and I will come up against obstacles and, and challenges, but we're not alone. And so we're going to talk about that uh, today. Would you join me in a word of prayer? And then we'll, we'll have our opening song. Let's, let's pray. Dear God, we thank you that you are with us, that we are never alone, that we don't have to be afraid. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing. In my wrestling, in my doubts, in my failures, you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my to show again, boys and girls, uh, great job singing. We want to talk about our, our Bible point here today for Sunday School, and that is that, that uh, God helps us be brave. And then what I want you guys to do, put your hands on your hips like this, like you're Superman, or, you know, and say, we're brave, right? So I'm going to say, I'll say the Bible point, God helps us be brave, we're brave. Ready? Let's do it one more time. God helps us be brave. We're brave. Nice job. Nice job, superheroes. Uh, so we're talking uh, also about kind of our Bible memory buddy comes along with us, uh, Rocket the Flying Squirrel. And we're going to learn a little bit more about Rocket here today. We've got a video coming up. But I want to ask you how much you know about flying squirrels. Right? And so here's a question for you. Do flying squirrels stay warm by burrowing in the ground or by cuddling up with their family and friends? Right? So do flying squirrels stay warm by, by uh, burrowing and digging a hole in the ground or do they cuddle up with their family and friends? Okay, so I want you to get ready. And everybody, we're going to do a drum roll. So you know, you kind of get your hands on your knees and you do it like this. I'm not very good at it, but I'm sure you're better. 
Everybody do that. Ready? <laughs> Boom. And the answer is flying squirrels stay warm by cuddling up with their family and friends. I bet you guys got that one. I'll bet you did. So we're going to go now to our video on uh, uh, our flying squirrel friend. Here we go. Hi friends, it's me, Rocket. I'm a flying squirrel. I'm really excited today because later on, I'm going to glide around with my squirrely friends. I must confess, we're a little clumsy when we hang out on the ground. But can we ever soar? We glide gracefully from tree to tree. Whee! We can glide pretty far too. Up to 160 feet. That's about the length of four buses in a row. Maybe we should be called gliding squirrels instead of flying squirrels. We don't flap wings like bats do. And we don't have feathers like birds. But we do have special membranes between our front legs and our back legs. These membranes are made out of loose skin and some muscles. And they're covered in fur. These built-in gliders help us catch some air and get us where we need to go. I like exploring on my own, but sometimes I'd rather hang out with others. You know what I mean? When it comes to a flying squirrel nest, we like a jammed pack full of friends. Family and friends are awesome. The more the merrier, I always say. In the winter, when the cold weather comes and we need to stay warm, we huddle together with even more flying squirrel families. God gives us the friends we need. Ah, so cozy. God will give you what you need too, especially his comfort. God's love is like having a big warm blanket to protect you from the cold. When you face trouble, God will never leave you. That's what God told Joshua in the Bible. God gave Joshua a really important job to do. He put him in charge of the Israelites. Joshua led them to the promised land. <laughs> wow! Joshua may have wondered whether he was really the right person for such a big job. But God made him a promise. Here is what God told Joshua. We can read it in the Bible book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 9. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And guess what? God did what he said he would do. Joshua was brave and courageous. Do, 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 do. And God helped Joshua and the Israelites move into Jericho. No wall could stop God. It's okay to get a little overwhelmed sometimes, but take heart and have courage. God is with you when you need to be brave. Ask God to give you strength. He won't let you down. There is nothing that will ever get in the way of God's love for everyone. That's great news. Be sure to tell your friends. Uh-oh, it's getting late. I'm gonna glide over and hang with the fam. I'm so glad we've had time to get to know each other, no matter what's happening around you. Remember this, God helps us be brave. All right, well, we got some uh, good information about flying squirrels and, and also just being, being brave as, as God's child because we know that it's not about just us being brave, but we know that we can be brave as God's children because God is with us. And today we're going into uh, the Bible in the book of Joshua. Now, you remember the Israelites had been traveling, wandering through the wilderness for a lot of years, and they had a guy named Moses who was with them. God gave them a leader in Moses and they, you know, God provided for them and, and God led them through Moses. Well, then Moses died. And, and so the people were like, you know, who's going to lead us? Well, God raised up a guy named, a young man named Joshua. 
Joshua was uh, a guy that would lead his people, but, but God wanted to let Joshua know that he was not alone. And, and so uh, I, I'm sure you remember last week's Bible verse. It's, it's uh, you know, be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That comes from the book of Joshua. And it's Joshua uh, chapter 1. But uh, what God is going to say to, to, uh, to Joshua in chapter 1 verse 5 is, No man shall be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will not leave you nor forsake you. So God tells Joshua that he's not alone and that he can go forward leading all these people. There were a lot of people. God said, Joshua, I'm going to be with you no matter what. Now, here's the thing. The people of God, the first place that they come to was this city called Jericho. And Jericho had these huge, massive walls that were very high. And even there were two sets of walls. And so if you climbed one set of walls, you got in and you were in no man's land and you were trapped. Well, God said, I want you to take out Jericho, that city. But I'm going to be with you. And I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. And, and so, so uh, God told the Israelites to go. And, and uh, Joshua is with them. And so in chapter 5 is um, really an interesting verse here, verses 13 to 15. When Joshua was by Jericho, he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, a man was standing before him with his drawn sword in his hand. And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries, our enemies? And he said, no, but I am the commander of the army of the Lord. Did you hear that? God sent the commander of the army of the Lord to be with them, to go before them. God's, God says, I, I am going to be with you. And God sent this angel to be with the Israelites. Wow, they were not alone. And so then the Israelites went up to Jericho, and you would have thought that God would have, you know, given them swords and clubs and all these things to go up against Jericho, but he didn't. He told God's people to march around the city for seven days. They would go one time around the city for six days, and on the seventh day, they would march around the city seven times. And they would blow this horn, no, no weapons, and you know what happened? You know what happened. I'll bet you know what happened. Because on that seventh day when they marched around and they blew the trumpets and the horns, the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. God had an incredible victory. It was God's power, right? God's, God's might, God's strength that did it all. And, and so you and I... Can, can really know, just like the Israelites, that they were not alone, you're not alone either. You know, there, there might be some big obstacles, walls, troubles, challenges that you're facing. Go to God. He is with you. He'll never leave you, never forsake you. Hey, we're going to go and go ahead and sing another song right now. Woke up this morning feeling kind of blue A little sad but I know just what to do Oh, 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 oh I have learned that I can go to Jesus He lifts me up whenever I need it Oh, oh Yeah, he
gives me joy in every situation keeps my spirits high no matter what i'm facing welcome back well god helps us be brave we're brave right yeah you guys know that in the lord's strength you can be brave you know i want to uh encourage you guys to go on to our website zionnewpal.org and moms and dads you can click on the sunday school button and there are some resources to download there uh right there on the sunday school page for today's lesson and uh would you would you join me as we close in a word of prayer dear god help us to be brave in the midst of the troubles that we face help us to know that you are with us that you'll never leave us and never forsake us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Have a great week.